Number 79. The enthalpy of combustion of hard coal averages negative 35 kilojoules per gram, and that of gasoline, 1.28 times 10 to the fifth kilojoules per gallon. How many kilograms of hard coal provide the same amount of heat as is available from 1.0 gallons of gasoline? Assume that the density of gasoline is 0.692 grams per mil and the same as the density of isooctane. Okay. All right. So kind of like a word problem here, but I, I think we got this right. The question is asking for how many kilograms of hard coal provides the same heat as is available from one gallon of gasoline. Now, from that question, they only gave us one given. We have to start off with one gallon of gasoline. So that's the first thing. I'm going to say that I have one gallon, or one GAL, of gasoline. Okay. Now, what do the two things have in common, right? Meaning, what does the hard coal and this gasoline gonna have in common? Read the question again. How many kilograms of hard coal provide the same amount of heat as is available from that one gallon of gasoline? So the coal and the gasoline have to provide the same amount of heat. So essentially, I have to find out how much heat is going to be produced from the one gallon of gasoline because then I can use that heat value to get how much kilograms of hard coal. So how am I going to do that? I have to get this one gallon of gasoline into a heat value. But now list all the givens that they gave us. For the gasoline, they told us two things, right? They gave us a density of gasoline, 0 0.692 grams per mil. And then they also told us that the heat of combustion for the gasoline was 1.28 times 10 to the fifth kilojoules per gallon. Now remember what we said, we want to find the heat value between the density that they gave us and the heat of combustion, which number am I gonna use? Yeah, this one. Why did they give us the density? to throw us off. We don't need that. Sometimes they're going to do that, guys. Okay? So you had to decide, which number am I going to use? We have to use this number. And look, it's already in gallons per kilojoule, right? And I have gallons. So I can just use my conversion, because that's all that we're doing. We're just timesing by ratio. And here's my ratio, kilojoules per gallon of the gasoline. So gallon of the gasoline goes on the bottom, right? And the kilojoules goes up on the top. If I just extend this. Okay. So according to what they told me is that for every one gallon of gasoline, right? Per gallon means per one. So per every one gallon of gasoline, I'm going to release out 1.2 Two eight times 10 to the fifth kilojoules. And now the gallons of gasoline goes away, and now I have the heat value. So this is going to be the same number, 1.28 times 10 to the fifth kilojoules. So maybe I'll just bring this down here, and just to kind of just show you, you know, we don't need this. This was extra, extra info. This was what we were using. Okay, so now we have the heat. And remember, this heat is the same for the hard coal. So now I'm going to start with this as my given. So now I'm starting with 1.28 times 10 to the fifth kilojoules of heat. And this is now for the coal. They wanted to know how many kilograms of hard coal will I get. So let's list out everything that they told me about the hard coal. So for the hard coal, they only gave me one number, the heat of combustion or the enthalpy of combustion. They told me that it was a negative 35 kilojoule per gram. 
But look here, guys, right? I have kilojoule, I have kilojoule. So I can use this formula. And look, they asked for kilograms. This is going to give me in grams. But now if I multiply by a ratio, and technically I have to not want kilojoules anymore, right? So that has to go on the bottom. And if I'm using this formula, what's going to go on the top? Yeah, this is basically just swapped. So the, the grams are going to go on the top. And what are the numbers? Well, remember, if I just extend this out, right, this was negative 35 kilojoules per one gram. So the one goes with the gram, so that goes on the top now, and the negative 35 kilojoules goes on the bottom. Now, you can put the negative, right? But remember, the negative just means that the heat was being released. There is no such thing as negative energy. It's just that it's being transferred. In this case, it's being released to the environment. If I just cancel that out and I just do the math, 1, 1 1.28 times 10 to the fifth divided by 35, I technically get a negative 3,657 grams. But remember, there's no such thing as negative mass. That's why this is just saying that it's being released. So if you want to just get rid of the negative, that's fine with me. And now we're left with a positive gram value. But they asked for how many kilograms? So I just got to convert this gram into kilograms. We know how to do that, right? From gram to kilogram, all we have to do is just divide by 1,000. So looks like 3... 3.7? Now, I only say 3.7 because I'm looking at the sig figs here. Um, yeah, I only see that there's two sig figs. That's the lowest number of sig figs. So we should technically have two sig figs if you want. So this would be 3.7 kilograms. And that's how many kilograms that are needed for the hard coal. And there you go. A little bit tricky, mainly because they, they started giving you random things that we didn't even need. So just focus on the question, okay, guys, and use those units. The units will always tell you what to do. If you see units that are in the same as two numbers, you're, you're going to be converting, okay? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And as always, I hope you have a really great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.